Right, we're on YouTube now. Hey guys, uh, it's Robbie Strike here uh, from uh, uh, RobbieStrike.com and uh, FreeSatelliteTV.net. Uh, today, I'd like to talk to you about this uh, video that was uh, got a whole lot of views on YouTube. Uh, if you type in "satellite dish" to YouTube, it will come up. It's this. Uh, bring bring it on up here. This uh, tech quickie. What happened to those huge satellite dishes? Well, what? What happened to those huge satellite dishes is they still work. Um, they forgot to tell you that part, that you all you need to do is to get a receiver like this one. You have several, uh, you type in the term free to air satellite receiver, free satellite TV receiver. Uh, these things like this Amico, which is about $80 um, or $100 on, on eBay. Uh, and you can, basically what's happened is everything's just gone digital, like from the analog days, like, People in the old days would have like this huge receiver that uh, um, uh, that um, like basically like the old VCRs. They were like, you know, just giant bricks. So this is pretty much the receiver that picks up free satellite TV these days. The remote is almost like bigger than the receiver. Uh, it has like basically where your coax goes in and your video goes out or an HDMI for the HD channels. Because there's a lot of HD channels on uh, on free satellite TV. So. When I saw that video, I thought, oh, okay, they're talking about satellite. And then I saw how many views they got. They got well over a million views talking about satellite. But then what they didn't tell you is you could still get channels on that. I am grateful, though, there, there was people in the comments that even mentioned me by name, but also mentioned uh, that, that, that there's free to air satellite. It's been a thing for years. It's uh, free satellite TV. Just because there's, uh, I, I prefer the term free satellite TV. Uh, it's more of a direct term of what, uh, this hobby is using a, a satellite dish like this and receiving free channels. Um, because, um, even going back into the, uh, the days years ago, uh, satellite TV was, um, uh, sometimes there was like, well, st still to this day, uh, there were several channels that are encrypted. And that's like one of the big misconceptions about satellite TV is all the channels are encrypted when there's like hundreds of channels that are, uh, what we call open and in the clear, uh, you can get them for free. So I wish Tech Quickie would have mentioned that in their video, um, because there's when I when, when I talk to people about how I use uh, satellite TV, I have a lot of people that think that it doesn't work anymore, or those dishes are uh, completely uh, unusable now. But they actually aren't. There's like people looking for them all the time. I get people contacting me all the time looking for uh, C-band satellite dishes, especially with the C-band, the larger dishes, uh, because in North America that's probably where you're going to get a lot more channels is on C-band as opposed to in Europe, they tend to use the smaller dish, uh, maybe like a 36 or a, um, or smaller, a 36 inch or smaller dish. That is a band called KU band. And if you use, um, home satellite TV, which is usually a subscription service, you have to pay for it like uh, bell direct TV, uh, and uh, Shaw Direct, those services are subscription services and they really don't give you anything for free with that. So that's like a paid service. And that's kind of what people have the conception that satellite TV is now that um, it's a paid service. But uh, what you can get on one of these dishes is essentially those channels that are on, um, that are on like over the air TV. Uh, like for example, me TV, um, Antenna TV, I guess antenna TV is not uh, on satellite, but uh, this TV, uh, all the DigiNets that show all the all the old channels. Uh, so, um, yeah, so it's kind of burying me over here uh, when you search satellite. I used to be at the top here, and now I'm kind of really buried down uh, on that list. So when you type into YouTube or Google satellite dish, type in satellite nerd or Robbie strike. Uh, usually that's what I do. People ask me questions. You have a video on this. I'm like, yes, satellite Robbie strike and the topic. And I usually find the video that I'm looking for because I've made hundreds of videos on this topic before. Uh, so yeah, there's like, I don't know, uh, just as, um, from the nature of the hobby, I've seen like a lot of misinformation, um about satellite tv uh like there's a group like he, this one here ota digital tv antennas a lot of good information but there always is like a few people in this group 
uh, that will um, bring up something that about uh, satellite TV and they'll say there's nothing on it, doesn't work anymore. And you look at the profile, they work in the cable industry. I'm like, why do people who work in the cable industry always want to spew misinformation about this, uh, this hobby? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, I used to be a volunteer for um, uh, uh, the community uh, channel. And when I worked with the, uh, the people that worked in there, it's almost like a culture of just hating satellite and they'll lie and have misinformation about uh, satellite TV there. They've been doing that like over 20 years ago, back in the nineties. Um, and there was a whole lot of misinformation that they would camp campaign against that actually wasn't true about against satellite TV so that people would buy cable. So nothing new under the sun with that. Uh, yeah. Uh, so that was kind of my piece about the tech quickie video uh, that was that said uh, what happened to those huge satellite dishes. They still work. They're still around. And if you have one, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Learn about free satellite TV. Um, you can get yourself one of these satellite receivers for about $100. It's a great hobby. There's a, a lot of interesting channels that you can pick up. Um, um, it's kind of like the shortwave radio of television is a uh, C-band satellite and KU band satellite. Um, so, uh, something definitely to check out if you're into that hobby. Uh, another thing you'll hear about with people always saying is that, um, with the cell phone companies taking the frequencies, they've moved the C-band frequencies to a higher band and they've reduced the amount of frequencies that were on C-band before. And this is because we live in a digital age now where uh back in the old uh the old days there would be like um i forget what the number was 23 transponders we'll say i'm, I'm probably wrong on that number uh per each uh each side so you got like 40 channels per over 40 channels per satellite now you can get like hundreds of channels on a satellite it's kind of like the new atsc three um television standard uh where they'll be able to fit 40 channels on what used to be one analog analog channel um so for doing that I got a video coming up. Um, gosh, okay. I hate this private chat in here in Discord. So I got this for um, the 5G uh, filter. We're going to give this a try. I'll be doing a video on it uh, coming up. It's I already have a titanium uh, LMB and it filters out and it works pretty good on my eight foot dish. Uh, so I'll be giving this a try. This is a titanium satellite C238 uh, dual output. I need dual output because I, I have multiple satellite receivers in my house. It does 3.8 uh, uh, to 4.2 gigahertz. It has a bypass uh, interference filter. So we'll see how this uh, this uh, this thing works. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of things. Oh, yeah, 5G and then C-band won't work at all. I mean, it's working today, working yesterday. Uh, so I don't know what they're talking about. So I'll give this one a try. I'll show you the LMB. I'll take it out of the box here. It looks like this. It's hard to get the thing off, but it's a dual output LMB, which I like. Um, and I've been, I've been, I've used titanium LMBs before, and I was, I've been very happy with them. Uh, easy to set up. Easy to set these LMBs up with a small dish project. That was a big thing a few years ago. Is to try to get C band on a smaller four foot dish, and uh, you don't get all the channels on a four foot dish, but you get some of them, and it's kind of a fun. Hobby, uh, hobby to play around with. Um, and my little guy's in the background here. I got the green screen up and he's playing in the background and he's just very verbal. <laughs> you see him there. Um, Daddy. Yeah, I'm going to turn my... There's my audio back. There we go. That 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 works there. Uh, so yeah, there's a TV RO set. Um, had some comments here. I'll go check. Uh, we'll look at the comments. Um, bunch of people. Group Galaxies in here today. Uh, happy Easter, uh, uh, folks. Um, 
uh, I've been doing dual streams. I've been streaming my church's uh, live stream. I don't preach or anything. I just like run the cameras and run the live stream. And uh, Group Galaxy Anthony says, I, w I wish we had more FTA KU ban. And that's definitely something I wish we had more as well. Some people in the hobby will like will argue with this. They like C-Ban better because C-Ban doesn't have rain fade. I honestly, with my KU band dishes, I lose signal on them. I, 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 I could probably count on my hand the amount of times uh, I lose signal on my uh, KU band. Uh, it's a, a few times, a few times a year under raid and fade, but uh, it's really if you have your dish tuned up properly, you won't find as much rain fade. Bigger dish also is bigger the better. Yeah, and uh, there's Brady getting his dish going in two to four weeks. And uh, my recommendation, if you do get one of those old dishes, is uh, get one of those, uh, the, the titanium LMBs or get uh, a newer LMB. Sometimes the old LMBs will not work. Uh, also, this is our Facebook group here. I don't know why this guy's face is popping up here. I don't know if he wants to be on or on the stream. Um, so this is our Facebook group uh, for free satellite TV, North American and over there channels. If you're not a member there, uh, please um, join the group and remember to answer the questions because we have a lot of bots coming in and uh, uh, spammers and things like that. So uh, I just ask you to answer some of the questions and um, I'll put you right in there and uh, you can join our group. Uh, another thing is, um, uh, where is that thing there? I'm just going to bring up my picture here. Uh, let's go to the Discord here. There we go. Doing uh, live, live uh, streaming on the fly here. There we go. Um, yeah, so join our Discord server. Uh, there's um, quite a hand, quite a lot of people on Discord. Tomorrow night uh, is a Saturday night. I probably won't live stream, but we have been doing a uh, a voice chat on Discord. So if you want to come in and um, sort of just have a uh, chat uh, about uh, satellite TV, we talk about satellite, we talk about Linux, shortwave radio, we talk about all sorts of stuff. Uh, join the Discord. How do you find that? Uh, in the link of this video, I either have my uh, my flow page or my link tree, and that's where you can find all my links uh, there. So uh, you'll see in there will be the invite link for the Discord server, and that's how you find the Discord uh, chat. Uh, there's a ton of links in the description of this video that will, uh, that will be uh, helpful for you uh, with that. You got the VHS, uh, the old Scotch VHS video background. Oh, here's a here's a guy. I guess I'm getting a chat all the way from uh, the Netherlands. Um, the hardest part I found is aligning the dish with the satellite. Now that I'm done, it it's getting easier, or maybe not. Sorry, I know another guy uh, in Netherlands that uh, and he brags about all the channels he's able to get on Ku Band, which blows away what we get on Ku Band in North America. Yeah, that's from a while ago. I know my mic was off. Working with OBS. I'm not using OBS right now. Uh, but yeah, working with OBS. <laughs> no, it's just uh, when, um, yeah, when he was in there. Uh... Uh -huh. uh... Anthony at Group Galaxy Entertainment. By the way, guys, if you are not subscribed to Group Galaxy Entertainment, um, do we, do we uh, search for that if you like gaming. Uh, follow uh, Anthony's channel there. Give him some subscribers. Uh, yeah, I thought the Scotch, uh, thought so Scotch uh, VHS cover, you probably have a couple of those kicking around. I'm archiving some VHS tapes at the moment and didn't realize how many 
I have not even a quarter way through. I know I got so many VHS tapes. I would love to archive stuff. Like I wish I had the time to archive a lot of the old commercials and stuff that I have on VHS and just sort of put them on YouTube. I'd have, I might have to create a separate channel for that. <laughs> Or put it up on archive.org. I think I, you know what, with the Scotch uh, videotape background, I think I have uh, one, like my first VHS tape that I got when I was a kid was a Scotch, uh, like a black, the black label Scotch uh, videotapes. I might even have it here. No, it's over there. I have a videotape here though. I don't have a case for it. It's just a VHS tape, <laughs> which I still have here. I haven't played it in years, but I haven't played it in years, but it remembers exactly where I left off. All right. Oh, uh, there is Leo. Leo Mercado. Uh, I haven't uh, searched you or used uh, C band dishes for a while, but I've seen some good ideas on some KU band dishes. Yeah. Um, Yeah, there's a lot. If you, in your area, if you could find an, or, an old Orby TV dish, that would be great. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to pull up a different screen here. Plug that, plug that. All right. Oh, yeah. Another thing I wanted to go over here. Here, the description of my videos. The description of my videos. If you're looking for satellite information. Oh, boy. Um, it's got this little text document here. I think my audio is off. My back on. How do I do it where I put my page, myself in the background there? There we go. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, I try to keep this list up to date, and I've been putting it in the description of my videos uh, about free satellite TV. So if you're looking for uh, a list of channels and list of things to buy on eBay, you should go to the description of my video, and I'll put this list uh, there. It's just a place where I can put a web page and up-to-date information. Um there's also the, the for KU band. There's a whole whack of channels over on uh, one seventeen West KU band. Um, has uh, I don't know if you can see that the greatest in that screen there with the flicker and all that. There's the AWE TV network. There's um, Real America. Uh, there's the Heartland Hunt channel. Uh, but um, there's a bunch of religious channels there too. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll have to see if I can pick up the uh, retro TV mux once I get this new all me in because I've been having a hard time picking up the retro TV mux on uh, satellite TV. Uh, another place to go is the uh, Anique F3, which is 119 West. It has all of, um, all of the Canadian CTV channels. Uh, so you have like CTV Winnipeg, uh, CTV Ottawa, all that stuff's in there. The Weather Network, there's a ton of the Weather Network channels. Um, over on 105 West, you get C, uh, NBC, Cozy. Uh, I believe they're also uh, the same muxes on Key Ben. Um, Spaceway has uh, the Ion Network, or sorry, 103 West has Ion Network, Grit TV, Laugh, Balance, Newsy, Court TV, True Real, uh, Deffy, uh, a whole whack of channels, uh, channels there. Uh, 101 West has probably the most amount of uh, channels that uh, a lot of people I know who park their dish uh, will park it over on 101 West where they have MeTV, Heroes and Icons, East and West, Decades, Movies, Folk TV, Start, East and West. And there's a quite, quite a few I missed in there. Um, and then uh, Galaxy 16, which is 99 West, has uh, FV TV, Family Entertainment TV. And a whole whack of other channels. There's Cozy. I don't know if Cozy is actually in there anymore. The things move around. That's the one thing about the satellite TV hobby is channels do move around quite a lot. Um, and also there's Galaxy 19. I just listed a few channels that are mainstays on Galaxy 19. Um, this one here, it's gone now. I'll delete that off the list. <laughs> Uh, 
and uh, same thing with uh, 101 West. And then at uh, 55 West, uh, there's a whack of channels, international channels on 55 West. But they also have the WWE feed. That's one big thing I like on Monday nights. It, and uh, not so much Friday nights because I, I can watch it on the antenna. But uh, for watching um, WWE Monday Night Raw, during and, and it doesn't cut out during the commercials, it's kind of kind of neat uh, for that. Uh, so uh, I don't know. If... So I had some comments here. I'll try to go through some of these. Oh, yeah. Also, when you scroll down on the, the description of my videos, um, there's the helpful links, which is like um, just if you want to get something on eBay, I definitely promote eBay. Um, they're nicer to me with commissions. <laughs> I do get a little commission off of this uh, through eBay. So if uh, you're looking for a satellite dish or mo motor or something like that, I'll, I'll have a few things there on eBay. And if you ever need uh, something and want to know what to find, just um, uh, contact me uh, either via um, my Facebook page or Discord or my email, Robbie underscore strike at hotmail.com. Uh, and I can help you out there. And there's my flow page and all that promotional stuff there. So, yeah. So I get a lot. Of people, the reason why I'm pointing this out is I have a lot of people ask me this stuff and it's like, I have it in my description of my video. And then I just go to my description of my video and send it to them. Um, there is kind of a mix of KU band and C band. If you really want to like look up what, uh, where they are, you, you're either best to go to, um, link sat or TV or O sat, and they'll have the satellite frequencies. And uh, just uh, trying to see if there's anything else here in the comments. I don't know if I missed too many of the comments or not. No. All right. So uh, if you are uh, following this on YouTube, you can join uh, the chat. You can call in. Um, there's a link in the description of this video. I'll pull that up here right now. And we have... Uh, Kevin joining us, Eggplant. I'm going to bring up his audio here. Hey, how's it going, guys? And how do I bring us both up? I guess I've got to close down the uh, working on the fly here. There we go. Um, so we have Kevin joining us uh, from the land of Quebec. <laughs> hey, the great land of the French. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to share that link. I'm not going to be doing this stream too long today. I'm going to be going out for a little bit and just find my live stream here. Oh, I hate when it's, you know, I'm just going to do a search for my name. That's how I find it. I'll post it into the, uh, the, this, the, disc the discord here. Discord. There we go. I didn't screw up my camera there, did I? I know it's fine. Okay, yeah. Can't post messages. It's giving me a thing about the messages here, and it went to there. It went up to all of them. So there, if you want to call in, uh, you, this link here from the restream host. Uh, you can join the conversation and uh, By the way, guys, I just got a new mic, so no background noise. I'm surprised this cup's not like hiding in the green screen. Yeah. And we have Patrick joining us, uh, the North Coaster Hobby. Bring his audio up here. Hey, no coaster how's it going and we have Patrick joining us. Uh, hi guys and you, and you need to turn your volume down or wear a pair of headphones when you uh hold on here back. how's that that's okay that's okay i had a question what's the name of the mesh dish in the background 
Uh, so when I bought this dish, I have a video of actually assembling this dish on my channel, uh, how to assemble a C-band satellite dish and uh, unboxing this, uh, the, uh, the C-band satellite dish, my unboxing video where I uh, took, took it apart, put the panels outside. And then uh, when it shipped to me, it was like a little bit banged up. So I had to take a rubber hammer and bang it out and fix it. That's pretty much what you got to do with those dishes. Get it banged out and away you go. <laughs> It's a DIY hobby. It is a DIY hobby. You can't really find installers to do this. You used to be able to find installers years ago. And there used to be this website called um, uh, um, FTA install. And I remember I, I was, I joined that. Like I thought, well, maybe I'll make a few dollars um, installing free to air dishes. And, um, and uh, what happened was, uh, all I got calls for were people that wanted me to do illegal stuff and I didn't want to be doing a business where I was doing illegal stuff. <laughs> so I, uh, so I, uh, don't really, I never did. I never really did any satellite dish installs. I just, <laughs> I don't even know how you're supposed to do that. Ooh. Well, FTA installed it. Like, it was mainly for like if you ha if you needed an installer, and a lot of the times it was if you had a local installer that did uh, your local subscription service. Mm. And uh, I'm going to turn off the uh, screen share. There we go. Um, but um, I find I don't even know if that website's uh, still active because a lot of the installers were not even. Um, um active doing that anymore maybe in our group you can maybe kind of contact someone that will help you install a dish um uh offer to pay the money uh, people offer me me money to go to a, i don't know alaska or something like that I'm, i can't go to alaska i'm sorry <laughs> and the, how much would it cost to install a satellite dish i would say it would be uh not necessarily cheap if you're not able to do it yourself because of the amount of time it would take i guess i don't know I, uh because one thing is you got to dig a pole into the ground make sure it's below the frost line so you have to get in there with an auger and i mean you can do that like i rented an auger from a, a, a rental store just you know it was like seven bucks to rent an auger for a day and dug a dug a hole for one of my posts and uh um, I could do like the satellite setup in my background, in my back, uh, my backyard. Uh, we have like a pole for satellite dish, but uh, I don't really want to. I want to make my own pole because uh, it's on my neighbors and let's say my my next door neighbors. Or I'm not really like the best friend right now. Uh, well, for a pole, you can also go to, sometimes you can maybe ask at a scrap metal yard, tell them the dimensions of what the pole you, you, that you need. Uh, you can, yeah. Sometimes you can get them there cheap. Um, other metal places, uh, you could, like, there's a lot of local pl places that will have that sort of thing. Um, and then just put it in the ground. Uh, the actual probably, installing. I'll probably hang it, like, next to my window there, but it's like cement, so I have to. Yeah. And another thing is like when people like, I, I remember someone wanted me to do a KU system and it was like a couple, um, uh, a couple hours away. So like I said, well, it's, you know, and I thought I was giving them a deal for a couple hundred dollars and they were like, well, the thing didn't even cost a few hundred dollars. I'm like, yeah, I got to get my car and drive my bones to your location and do it. And that was probably a pretty good deal that I was offering and they didn't take me up in the offer or, you know, so I, I never actually, that was the closest thing I ever did for an install for someone that wanted the uh, seven day of Venice channels. It's uh, it's really like, it's it, the cost wise. It's not worth your time. Like, you know, I've had people ask me, uh, you know, can you re can you come and re-aim a dish? My my bell dish is out of whack. Can you come and re-aim it for me? And you know, their their camp's like two hours away, like you said, and then it's on top of like a you know, a two story building on the on the peak of a roof. Like I'm not gonna risk my safety to make yeah, you know, that's another thing too. Hundred bucks or something. <laughs> if, if you're going to be an installer, uh, and I know uh, uh, the guy that installs and in, uh, antennas, and he used to do antenna installs, and then you know, risking his neck to do that, it's uh, mm -hmm. much. It's not. It's not worth the risk. 
uh, and like when you talk to any roofing company, they have insurance for like going up and working on people's yeah. roofs. Uh, you know, uh, the liability if someone falls off a roof mm-hmm. and uh, breaks their neck, you know. Yeah. Interestingly enough, actually, one of the sea band dishes that I that I uh, rescued was uh, it was on top of a roof, but the guy had taken it down because he had to get his roof redone. Oh, okay. And it was it was put up on top of the roof peak with like a welded like bracket that that sat over the peak of the roof, and the roofing company wouldn't even touch the dish. They said, "We're not doing your roof until you get that satellite dish off." They're a big sea band dish. Yeah. So he had to hire. Uh, another company with a lift to take it off the roof. And I was, you know, they, they won't just in terms of liability, they won't, they won't, they won't go there. eh? Then out in the country, they, they'll just, uh, they'll just take it and th- <laughs> throw it yeah. off. The roof. No one's below. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly it. They'll just push it off. This one, he actually had it like removed and, but it sat out in the, uh, it was late. He just kind of put it out in the bush there. And, um, the weight of the snow actually bent one of the panels, but I took it anyways because there were still three good panels. Get a I rubber match hammer. It up, but get a rubber hammer. You can, mm-hmm. you can um, fix it up. Uh, that's what I did. Even with black, yeah. Tea, I think well, quite a bump yeah. me down and uh, put it back up. It worked for mm-hmm. years, and then I got this mm-hmm. uh, mesh dish, uh, an opportunity to do a video on that. So I. Yeah. I went with mesh, and it's the same oh, yeah. size dish, but it was actually easier to adjust the elevation because mm-hmm. um, the elevation on the solid dish, they painted over all the screws and bolts, so I couldn't move that. Right. The uh, like this dish was this dish was a mesh dish, and like the me- mesh is easy enough to fix. You can you can just reshape it and spray paint it or stitch it with wire or something. But the problem with this one is the it was an alum- the aluminum frame was bent and uh, it actually uh, kinked and broke. Eh? So there was no fixing it and I don't know how to weld. So <laughs> I had to just throw the panel out. Kept the mesh though, because it's good for patches. Oh yeah. Yeah. Now I have like an old like bell satellite dish laying around in my yard. I mean See if I could like maybe make, make, make a good frisbee. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It will. It would probably be uh, good as a paperweight. <laughs> yeah, the bell dishes. I don't even recommend wasting your time trying to change yeah, the LMB on those. I get like a Shaw Direct dish is great because like mm-hmm. it's the same right kind of LMB, and uh, you can pick up um, the one. Uh, 117 channels. You can pick up the uh, Galaxy 19 I'll channels. I end up doing is just buy like a satellite dish on eBay. It's designed for like free satellite. Oh, yeah, get, yeah, like I have a link in the description of this video. I just, I, I just say get get the one that I have listed there that you get off eBay. They're at a pretty good price. You can even mm-hmm. get the larger one for uh, like $119. The 39 uh, well, no, there's like a th- yeah, 39. Yep, yeah, that's a good 39. one. Yeah. Oh, and if, that's a good buy. Like, um, mm-hmm. uh, it's it, it, it is a little bit bigger, but it, it'll do the it's job. worth it. It's yeah. worth it. If, you, if you're out in the country and you want to pick up for KU band, you'll mm-hmm. probably pick up everything with that one. Yeah, the price between the price difference, uh, two between the 33 and 39 for the extra few bucks, the 39 is definitely, yeah, yeah, it's worth it. Yeah, uh, I could pull up that, uh, eBay so link. I'll probably end up using the belt dishes for as for the uh, uh so, for like free air. Sure, I'll like, show sure you guys what I'm what we're talking about here. Uh, there's like an eBay. Uh, it's in the description of this video here, and yeah, I'm just gonna, gonna, check just gonna bring it up. Control V. But right now I'm like. Trying to save up to uh, actually upgrade my computer because the Nvidia card is giving me issues on Linux. So, uh, I'm just gonna bring up this here first before I cut to that. All right. So here, if you go on eBay, actually, this is a pretty good deal too. Like uh, for, for today's standards, you get a motor, a dish, and an LMB for, uh, and that's from Electronica um, for three hundred dollars. But all that's being like 
don't know what the shipping cost would be there. Uh, 19, yeah. $20 shipping costs. I mean, $20 for me to drive to Toronto to the nearest store that would actually have some of this stuff. Uh, would probably, I think there might be out of uh, the greater Toronto area. I don't know which side. And yeah, it has, it would probably just be the LMB and dish. Yeah, Electronica has a lot of uh, stuff that uh, might be uh, of use to you if you're uh, looking for a uh, satellite dish. The other place to go, uh, where was that? What I'll probably end up using the Bell dish for is probably for my my uh, antenna to see if I I saw like a video like years ago. Or somebody put like an antenna over the dish, and they were pointed at, and they were getting like for their uh, antenna TV. Not, I've, not I've tried that. It works as a. It'll work as a reflector. I've tried that with a small channel master antenna, and it actually worked quite well. I've seen yeah, people. I've seen people do that with. Um, you know what I saw? Like those cheap um, clear TV, but not even the clear TV. The Amazon clear TV. Oh flat. yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw someone that with their, an old satellite dish pull and then mm -hmm. they connected up one of those things on their, I don't know if they duct taped it or whatever. They had it up on a, an old satellite dish pull. Um, not the greatest antenna, but I guess it would work better mm -hmm. putting, it up, putting it up there uh, than to um, like, I would, I would have put like maybe gotten a little bit better of an, of an antenna, but in my area, at least with one of those things on your roof, um, you probably would pick up at least, um, At least eleven channels off, I would say. Mm -hmm. At least. Yeah, but are those antenna designed to go outside? No, no. <laughs> They're meant to go like you, you, you duct tape, you tape them to your yeah. wall or something like that, or tape them to a window. Yeah. Um, Probably yeah. not gonna last long. I'll go on eBay. I'll look at them. Uh, TV antennas. It's on my uh, on my. On those uh, antenna, they're they're useless here. Those antennas, like what type of TV antenna? On yeah, that's the, what's gonna come up if you if you go to uh, um, uh, eBay. You'll get one of these black antennas here. Now, <clears throat> if you're gonna if you're gonna put something on a pole, I like even though um, uh, maybe this is not the best one to buy, but at least for like thirty four dollars, this will work better. Oh yeah. It's not, like I don't recommend. Box. I don't recommend buying one of these unless you're like you're limited, like for a trailer or something like that. And you're limited for space. Yeah, I probably want like a really good antenna. If you want a, the best antenna? I think that I've seen that I would get would be the uh, uh, TEL Televis. Yeah, the Televis antenna, like this. Um, uh, they have some. It has a five G filter. <laughs> Yeah, Telvich has pretty decent antennas. There's actually like a big antenna that they have. I think it's like so it's a 75 mile antenna. It's like 200. That probably would be the, like the best antenna, one of the best antennas to get. They seem pretty highly rated, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Like for, for my area, because I've looked around, well, what would be the best antenna for me? Mm -hmm. uh, if you want me to review this, the only problem is I, I wish I knew someone who lived locally that <laughs> lived in this area who could help me uh, put the tower up and down because I'd have to take my tower down, put this thing on it with a router, rotor, and um, and then get this thing on the go. I'd love to get it going though because what I'm using now it works, but this thing would work. I'd probably get a few channels, uh, a few extra channels with this that I'm not getting with my current antenna. You got a lot of you got a lot of UHF stations you can get, Robbie. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm close mm. enough to the border, so I nice. get That's a good. ton of uh, of UHF channels. But nice. I have this, which doesn't really work well here. Yeah. No, that's not going to work very well in uh, in your area. Works as a fan, though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know those flat antennas are so the prices are all over on those flat antennas. Yeah. You know, like you can get them like five bucks or thirty bucks. They're just <clears throat> way like, overpriced. A lot of them. Like dollars. We have another know. caller joining us. Uh, me, who am I? Who I am? Me, who am I? Me, who I am? I don't know if they're going to say anything or they're just here, sitting here. You have anything to say, caller? Going once, going twice. 
going once, going twice, and gone. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if you want to do, if you do want to call in though, you can call in and um, um, chat with us. I'm going to be on for a few more minutes, and then uh, we're going to end the stream. This stream is mainly, I know uh, Patrick did a video about uh, that tech tech quickie video, uh, Linus Tech Tips, and uh, about how they Wait, Patrick make videos. Yeah, Patrick has a channel. I didn't even know that. Oh, subscribe to Patrick's channel. It's called, he's the North Coaster Hobby. I got a copyright strike for playing your videos. I don't know if they notified you that, about that, Patrick. But I are you I, kidding? I, I had you verbalize like. I yeah, yeah I remember you, that. No, I did it right on the stream. But then on the stream, they said copyright. Well, why would they do that? It's it's just. I, I have no I have no problem with that at all. <laughs> yeah, it's just a notification. Uh, and I'll, I'll get into copyright stuff all the time. My yeah. church, I just went through that because my church has a copyright license for worship music. Yeah. And um, we had our stream actually blocked midstream because they were playing a worship really? song. It was a video. So it was actually like a recording of a video. And they cut the stream halfway through. But I didn't display the license or the copyright holder. Now I'm doing that. And it seems that YouTube's not giving me problems with that. I didn't know. Can I, can I go on, on there somehow and say, like, click something that says it's okay for you to do that or what? Um, <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what? There's a, there's a tab in your studio that mm -hmm. says copyright claims. I had a guy take my videos and put it on his channel. And, oh, okay. Uh, and I was able to claim it. Hey, this is my video. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, There's a lot you know, of people that when you do like these still videos and uh, I think a YouTuber that does like 3D printing actually had that issue and he had like a bunch of backlash but I can understand why because he took he took it I mean I mean I don't like like people re-uploading videos like these still videos I think that's just wrong Robbie, is there like a, uh, is that like an, was that like a person that saw that or is, it, is that was, is that one of the it's, YouTube AI bots that did it? it it's a YouTube AI bot. I'm pretty oh, sure. Cause you could probably have like a, re maybe they can do a review Yeah, like I think to, to get rid of that. Cause I'm on the stream saying it's okay. I mean, <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's weird. It's more, um, you know what? I probably have to like in the description of the video, which helps mm -hmm. with that sort of thing is add, uh, acknowledge the copyright. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's simply. I, I think that's uh, what um, I should do in that video, and then um, basically that's what they really want you to do is acknowledge the copyright. Right. So Patrick's channel here. He did a video. Um, those huge dishes still work, which is kind of a response to um, uh, Tech Junkies video. There, I put a I put a couple of comments in the uh, in his video. Oh, yeah. He doesn't seem to answer comments at all. So, <laughs> well, they're such a big channel. They're like, yeah, I know, I know. They're but, millions of views. Like, we're like, yeah, yeah. they're, oh, millions. yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't, but they don't answer any comments. I noticed it's weird. Well, when you're that big, I guess you don't guess. answer comments. Uh, Linus Tech Tips, they're basically so. making videos on the fly, not doing all the researches, not going to our YouTube channels and finding out, hey, wait, these satellite dishes still work. <laughs> yeah. No kidding, eh? I mean, I remember when Linus Tech Tip like said like, "Oh, Linux is not good for gaming." And that was like, I remember he had so much heat, and I I think that's how I heard about Linus. <laughs> I remember like I disagreed with that because I I actually kind of liked Linus Tech Tip. I wa watched him a few times. I don't. I, uh, I I'm actually subscribed to Tech Junkie after that. I thought, well, that's kind of interesting. Uh, they got some interesting stuff there. Yeah. Um, it makes you wonder how much what they're missing on certain things, but I guess every news company is like that, right? Yeah, you could you can find that with any news company. So I'm not putting them at fault for that. It's just uh, um, maybe like in their warehouse, they have like a warehouse full of computers and all that. But I yeah. bet you they don't have they don't probably don't have a satellite dish to test out. No, probably they know how to do it. One, but it's for their internet. Yeah, they, they have like, well, yeah, I remember like I disagree with the Linux thing because. I had like an, uh, a really, somebody gave me like a few years ago, like a gaming computer. It didn't have a graphics card. I installed Linux and most of the games just worked pretty fine. Then I upgraded to a uh, 8800. So I, one question I ask you guys, what do you prefer, the daytime format or the nighttime? 
for uh, live streams. Yeah. Well, this <laughs> is kind of a this is kind of a cool time to do it. Like, yeah. I just thought uh, Easter because yeah, not, not much going on. Like you know, yeah. I you know, there's not a whole lot going on today. All the stores yeah. are closed, so I thought, oh, well, exactly. Easter would be a fun day to do a live stream just because mm -hmm. I'm off. I'm, I've been working so so many hours recently. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So just, uh, oh, this is a fun thing to do in an afternoon, I think. Yeah. And then we're, all of us uh, come on the Discord usually on um, on uh, Saturday. Saturday night. If I'm not yeah. doing a live stream, we're doing a Discord chat. And that's mm -hmm. just because like, I'm tired and I don't want to like host the show. So I just want to sit back and listen. And uh, I've, mm -hmm. I, can find it, I find it could be interesting for me. Oh yeah, well yeah. the Discord the Discord is like everybody being able to uh, meet at a Tim Hortons and 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 talk about yeah. satellites. <laughs> virtual Tim Hortons. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fans. Um, yeah, or Dunkin' Donuts or whatever. <laughs> McDonald's. Yeah, McDonald's, McDonald's coffee. Yeah, having, yeah. having the McCaff. They, yeah. they got good coffee. <laughs> hey, we have Kurt joining us from uh, Hi, Hi, Kurt. Northern New York. He might not have his microphone set up either. I picked up one of those um, those titanium LNBs there, Robbie. You were showing earlier. Yeah. Did you get the five G one? Yeah, yeah, and I got the dual because all all my other ones are single. But I don't even know like when I'll when I'll actually need it here because I don't know when five G is going to be here. But I yeah, thought, it's... like you guys said, you and Kevin said last week, what if they run? What if they sell out? So I thought I better pick one up. Yeah, I don't know when these. Uh... See, I, I'm not sure. Like in Canada. Like, yeah. are we are we different than the states because we're always so slow to adopt things, right? Yeah. Like they have five G ready towers in the area, but it's more like yeah. a experimental right uh, thing. So, yeah. um, well, I always thought, what if they sell out though? Then then you, then you can't get one. Yeah. The then you're out of thing, luck. The thing about this is, um, uh, it's it, I think they're geared toward the frequencies since they changed the frequencies. Mm -hmm. 3.8 because C band in North America, they're not using the lower uh, C band frequencies now. So. Yeah, after the repack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it should be, you, st you should still be able to pick up all the channels just without the, uh, without possible uh, interference. Eh? Yeah. yeah. I mean, maybe that's the one thing where we're lucky that we're in Canada is maybe. I know they're aver they advertise 5G like they're always like Bell. We have the the fastest 5G network and right. Rogers. No, no, we're <laughs> Rogers. We have the fastest yeah. 5G network. And they yeah. And if you ever look at the comments in one of their Facebook ads, it's yeah. like everyone's like, I didn't want. Who wants this stuff? I don't want this. It's like the, yeah. they get, they hire bots and then they put comments and you can tell they're fake comments. Like yeah, we're always the uh, we're always behind though. Why you know, like? Shutting down 3G. I want. I still want to use my Nokia N95. <laughs> One thing is, and we got Kurt in here. They'll never shut down. It's CB radio. I got my CB radio 40 channel in the back yeah. room here in a bin. They're never yeah. shutting that down. You got your single sideband going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. I, I picked up a couple of. <laughs> I picked up a couple of them at uh, at Salvation Army there for like ten bucks, and they work fine. Just you know, for the price, you can't go wrong. I figure. Kurt, your mic, you're sounding like Darth Vader. Can you pull? Oh up? yeah, I'll pull it away yeah. like that. There you, yeah, right. there you go. Yeah, I feel like you're gonna come in and choke me. Yeah, like we use oh, the force yeah. and choke me. And... <laughs> you can review an antenna, aren't you? Stepping on Antenna Man's uh, turf. Uh, this is my I, I I do everything, man. I do cameras, uh, whatever, uh, whatever. There's uh, you say you're, you're doing it internationally since you're in Canada. Eh? Yeah, it's uh, hey. Canada and TV reception stuff. You you I I watched your video on that on that clear TV antenna, Robbie, yeah. and. Uh, like when I was in Winnipeg last summer, there was this like liquidation store that had those little tiny clear TV antennas. They're like, they're just like a little tiny, um, I don't know what, they're just really, really small. They're like five bucks and I bought one, eh? But they don't even work in my, yeah, yeah, in my are, it's terrible. Yeah. yeah. I've seen them actually in <laughs> but, Giant Tiger. If you're in Canada, there's oh, the, yeah. 
or if you're in Quebec, Tiger Giant. Yes. <laughs> um, but I've I seen them. My, in, yeah, I actually I get my antennas with the garage. Uh, Tiger hey, Kurt, Giant. Kurt, is there any giant tigers in uh, your area? I think there might be uh, a no. few in New York State. Not we not in central New York State at least. We we oh. have one here. They opened one here like a year ago, and they ha- yeah I saw those. They have the uh, bigger square clear TV antennas there, and then they have these other small clear TV. They're like like a thin strip of plastic, like two inches wide, and it just yeah. it, they're, I don't they're have terrible. I don't, I don't, they're terrible. Oh yeah, I got I got one of those in the garage sale. You're talking it's like it's like this long and it's just got the end on it. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah, really yeah, narrow. Got, but yeah. I think those are only for UHF. It's, yeah, like, it's almost that, like using a paper clip. They'll show you this, yeah, they'll show you the paper clip and this amazing new antenna technology, and it's like exactly. a paper clip in the back of a TV. If you're close <laughs> enough to the TV station, yes, it will work. You might get one channel with it. It's funny because uh when I was in uh, Duluth at, at a Sam's Club, they had all the TVs set up. Duluth is in Minnesota, and uh they had all the all the TV set up in this uh in the Sam's Club, and that's what they were using for antennas. They just had paper clips stuck in the back of the uh, RF. And I'm thinking, I wish I could get reception like that. <laughs> yeah, I, I only get like eleven, probably like ten or six channels here. I only get three, and they're all on the VHF band. <laughs> yeah, with this floppy thing. Yeah, that's for when you watch TV. When you watch free satellite TV, you keep yourself cool. And that's exactly it. <laughs> On those hot summer days when you're enjoying free TV. Eh? That, that's <laughs> what you your... get when you're out like in the sun and you're setting up a satellite dish on a hot yeah. sunny day. And you need to, to block, block the sun from, from sun burning your face. <laughs> or, or or if you open up your L B cover and a bunch of wasps start flying out at you, <laughs> you use that to swat Exactly. The... Gotta have like a can of a can of uh, wasp spray and, and a flashlight on the ready. I guess uh, solar panels are bad for that too. If you um, change up solar panels, uh, there'll there'll be a ton of wasp nests under there. Oh god! Oh, they'll get it. Yeah, they'll, they'll they'll get into everything and just make nests. Oh, I found even with metal roofs, like the metal roofs. Uh, I got one that has like the ridges in it. Oh, and they hide under there. They'll fly into the little ridges and yeah. they'll make nests in there, and then they'll mm-hmm. come out. Yeah. Wonder where are all these wasps coming from? And yeah. yeah, they'll get in everywhere. Those I, things. I, barely get any bees or wasps here like i we used to i'd only got sting once they poured something in the ottawa river and uh, there's no more wasps in the area (laughs) (laughs) not even a a single butterfly like it's rare that we get a butterfly we used to get a ton but we don't get anymore yeah that's it that's getting scary yeah something with ottawa (laughs) yeah but they did upstream in Ottawa where they, I don't know. So I miss anything exciting in the beginning of the stream? Mm, we talked about the Linus Tech Tip. Uh... Oh, yeah. There's, there hasn't been a lot of new channels coming up, though. On the side, uh, you covered area. oh, yeah, you covered one though the new crime TV network. Oh, uh, yeah, Oxygen, yeah. That's, Oxygen, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, um, that. that is uh, like Oxygen's been like a pay TV channel for over 20 years, eh? But NBC is uh, moving it from uh, pay TV to their to their NBC owned and operated stations as a free over the air channel, so um video you got on it there yeah they just kind of started with that um leo 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 showed it in uh leo leo told me about it in houston it's already launched there and where else chicago they they get it it always early there yeah oh yeah i but you know it's they've only got it in like maybe seven or eight markets like kind of spread out throughout the states uh phoenix hartford los angeles san francisco chicago I'm just wondering if they're doing like a test run, maybe. Well, the thing is, no. uh, it's interesting because like uh, Court TV used to be a um, a uh, cable. cable channel. Yeah, exactly. And it, and it became uh, depending on the area you live in, like uh, DigiNet Digital Sub Channel or 
uh, whatever the term you use for what it is. Yep. Um, because, and that's what we get on satellite is a ton of these things, these, um, uh, bounce TV and all, all these channels. Mm -hmm. Um, and story TV. That's another thing I haven't talked about. Uh, I like story TV cause it's history mm -hmm. channel. It's like, was it five years ago? The, the history channel from five years ago. <laughs> The hits, it's pretty uh, much and biography it. too. They have biography on there. Okay, well that's a good. A and e, biography, I think too. Yeah, biography is a good. Yeah, channel. yeah, that's an History interesting channel. Now has that uh, food that made America. If you watched any of that or not? Yeah, I watched it the other oh, day. Oh, that show! That show is hmm. great. Is that on yeah. there? They have like a whole series of that, like uh, the uh, yeah. men that build America, or like the food that made America, and. Um, the cars that made America or whatever, they, they did it like a whole, um, a whole thing about, um, but, 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 but when are we going to get the cell phone that made America? Yeah. I think they probably did have done that. Yeah. Robbie, do you get story TV in your, in your uh, area there or with an antenna? No, no. It's oh, not. okay. Okay. No, but it's on one Oh one West though. Eh? Yeah. I don't have an ATSC three tuner yet, so I'm not sure. But I think with the ATSC three stuff, it's just a repack or a repeat okay. of what oh. is being broadcast. I'm not sure. I'd have to scan okay. it in to see it myself. Yeah, but I'm not at the point where I'm going to spend two hundred dollars to no. get a couple extra channels at this point no. yet. I'm willing to spend a hundred, but they don't have them at a hundred yet. Yeah, yeah, they're coming out with them. It's I, I had this conversation with a friend yesterday. Uh, is uh, member DVD burners? Were like when they first came out, they were five thousand dollars. They're insane. Oh, yeah. And then I bought a DVD burner um, that it cost me eighty dollars. A Phillips one they sell at Best Buy, and I bought like two of them because like you know it's like DVD burners. And mm -hmm. now who uses DVD burners, right? I do. You still use them? Yep. I use my DVD to burner to burn CDs at the odd time, but I haven't really used it to burn any DVDs. I mostly use them to burn like Dreamcast game or like PS1 or like PS2 games. Not really. I only burn like two movies on DVD. And that was just because I wanted to watch them on living room TV. There's no computer hooked up. But usually I just have like a little computer. I haven't really fixed it. I don't even know where it's on. See. So. Brady asked, do you guys put FTL more than one TV um, mirroring them? Uh, I have like multiple applications for my uh, free satellite, t my free air setup. I One thing I do is I run the satellite uh, receiver out of uh, out a ATSC modulator. So that satellite receiver I can watch on the TVs around the house that are connected to the antenna. So like it sends it downstairs or upstairs um, with, with the receiver and... And another way is uh, you can actually, with the uh, Enigma satellite boxes, I can send them via uh, streaming over the local area network, like uh, over your home router. So I can do that as well. But um, sometimes what I do is I scan channels and I'm watching like uh, antenna TV while I'm scanning in channels. I've had, I've had my whole system set up for like that. I'll be watching the news and I'm scanning 99 West or 87 West. It used to be uh, something I did a lot. Um, around six o'clock, because then you see all like the news feeds from across the country if you're scanning KU band feeds. But I use, I don't really do like mirroring. I don't have a mirror set up. I just hook it straight to my TV or my converter box, which I don't know where it is either. Now, Robbie, you know your Edison receiver is it, that one? Isn't that the one you can kind of use almost like a like a home run setup for satellite or? Yeah, the Edison and the Z Gamma, any mm -hmm. any of them with the open ATV in, interface, mm, and some people okay. don't like the that it's um, something that has to connect to the internet. They they want to be like internet free, and mm -hmm. it actually doesn't connect to the internet, but it connects to your home network, your local area network kind of thing. Like okay, like in, yeah. but for it, like... it it doesn't work. I'm not saying it can't work like this, but um, it's uh, probably harder to set it up unless you have a VPN router like where your router is serves a, as a server so you can be remotely connected in uh into it or you just use parsec or something like that it would be another okay. application. Robbie cool. is there something similar to the Edison but for like 3D antenna so, What's yeah it's called, the, called? it's called the HD home run right yeah, so what that does is um, I got one, uh, and you can scan in the channels that are on the antenna, 
and then watch them on like your phone uh, on your home Wi-Fi network. So can you, that one there? Can you watch? Can you watch that stuff like remotely? Like, can you be out and about watching your your uh, over the air channels on your device or not? Um, no, it's not set up so that uh, uh, when I'm out, um, okay. like on someone else's internet connection, only on the oh. local area network. Mm-hmm. Um, it can be set up for that. It's just uh, that's beyond me. I, I obviously you'd have yeah. to have your router set up for uh, port forwarding and all that kind of stuff. Okay, right, right, yeah. If you know how to See, do that. There's tutorials on how to do that. I just don't want to. Okay. Yeah, you have to sometimes yeah. get the right type of router. Yeah. And have it set up uh, with the uh, uh, open VPN. And I tried setting it up before. It was a bit of a pain. Hmm. See, I would do that. I would. I think I'd get one of those HD home runs if I had more channels. But we only have three three channels here locally. Eh? But yeah. I think that's a really cool idea, though. If you're in like an area, or even like my area, or where you can get multiple channels. Um, mm-hmm. like for example, when I watch SmackDown on Friday nights, I can watch it on my phone. Um because I usually put one of my kids in bed. Does, and, uh, does mm-hmm. Best Buy sell those those ATSC three home run? Uh, does who sell them? Uh, Best Buy. Uh, they used to. I'm not sure if they do now. I got mine from a uh, local computer store from Canada Computers. Mm. Okay. They sell pretty much anything at Canada Computers. Canada Computers, good store. Yeah, they have a lot of. Yeah. They used to sell free air dishes there. I don't know, like maybe some of the Canada computer stores uh, might even actually still have them. I know in London, Ontario, they had like KU band dishes at, um, uh, there's a surplus store in London. Can you buy a lot of their, uh, their stuff online there, Canada computers or. Yeah, you can get stuff online. They might even, I don't know what they have free to air stuff anymore on Canada oh, computers. Yeah. If you look it up, oh. you might find it. Oh, um, well, let's have a look at it and see there. I'm going to have a look here on, um. Speaking of uh, SmackDown, there last week on eighty seven West, they took it down pretty fast. But um, they had some. They had a Fox uh, network from uh, Georgia, Albany, Georgia, and uh, SmackDown was on there on uh, Friday night. <clears throat> but they only had the channel up a couple of days, so I think. I wonder if it was just a backup, maybe because of like uh, bad weather or something. Here's the store. Yeah. I don't know um, if anyone ever watches in the London, Ontario area. Uh, this store is awesome. Um, Forest City Surplus. It just has like, um, I saw stuff there that was like insane. Like uh, um, they had VCRs that had ATSC tuners built into them. Really? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. This is like, and it has like oh, a whole cool. of electronics, like wiring. Oh, man. Like, I'd love and, to go there. And they, and they used to sell yeah. free air stuff. So, uh, this is like an awesome store. I'm um, when I visited <laughs> London, and they had like yeah, just about everything. Forest City Surf, but actually, if you let, look on their website, they do ship to Canada, so you might be able to find like from the Forest huh. City Surplus Canada. Maybe I should like get on their affiliate program because they have like a bunch of stuff that people who watch my channel would be interested in. Sarah, did they sell airsofts there? I'm not. I- Kind of need like an airsoft for when I'm going into the woods. I'll leave that tab open. That I should. That looks like one of those stores that I'd like to go through with a shopping cart and do like a yeah. one of those shopping sprees. Yeah. <laughs> sure if I take my motor just load, load up the cart and you have like two minutes. <laughs> I sh- That's awesome. Supermarket sweep at uh, at, yeah. at uh, <laughs> for, Forest City Surplus <laughs> in London, Ontario. I'm sure if I take my mother there, uh, I'm gonna be there for like three or four hours. I get lost in that store. My wife, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh no, the store is amazing. That fun outing. It's like that. Uh, in don't be a menace. This is my favorite store scene. <laughs> and that's like a. T- I don't know how long uh, London is from where I am. Like six to eight hours, depending on the Toronto Toronto <laughs> traffic. Well, it's probably like twenty hours for me. <laughs> oh yeah. I, I don't oh know. yeah. I think it's near Ottawa, London. From Canada. Thunder Bay, yeah. No, London. No, London's the other side of Toronto. Yeah, oh, London's okay. like an hour west of Toronto. Like three hours to go there. Yeah, it, yeah, you're even further from it where than where I am. Yeah, actually, maybe it's not that long. Hmm. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna wrap up this live stream. I'm gonna wrap up this live stream, and okay. uh, we'll um, 
I don't know what I'm going to do. My next live show has been such a crazy time right now. So I'm hoping to be able to do more. I want to do more videos too. And it's hard to find time to edit right now. Um, but uh, thanks guys for uh, joining in the live stream today and talking happy about Happy Easter, the- everybody. Yeah, happy yeah. Easter. Happy Good Friday. Happy Easter. Yep. Take care. We'll talk to you guys maybe on maybe tomorrow night on or yeah, yeah tomorrow we'll, night, we'll Saturday night chat. Discord, yeah. And if you don't know the link, just um, find a way to email me and I'll I'll email it to you. All right. Uh, hey Robbie, Kurt. All right, yeah. hey, yep. fine, take care. All right, bye. Yep. Bye. Take bye. Care. Yeah. And I want to do the B-roll to my like satellite dish going out. Oh. <laughs> Bear with me, guys. Somebody is sad that the live stream is going on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she's ready to go out for a walk. Watch my bug video. Yeah, there's there you go. <laughs> yeah, this video here, my bug video. <laughs> as I go out with this.